In the West, most of the books you read about Africa, they will tell you African people worship the dead. I will say a big, the biggest BS you will ever greet in on this planet. It is not true. African people do not worship the dead. But first we ask ourselves who are what we call the ancestors. Who are they? Ancestors are special people. They are special people. And they have crossed over. And in our mind, we call them they are dead. But coming from a Congo culture, I will say the Congo themselves do not call their ancestors the dead ones. And even the word dead is not very often used when somebody is dead. The Congo say, those who are in vacation. <laughs> the dead are not dead, say the Congo. They went into vacation after living beyond them their skinned empty body. It is like a snake shedding their skin and leave it. The essential part that was inside left. So the same when a person, quote and quote, dies, it is leaving that a box that prevents you to truly understand who you are. Because the only way you understand yourself and try to communicate to other people is the box that you see yourself. But you are not your box. You are more than your box. And we know this is a matter here. Can you stand up, please, my lord? This is a matter. But believe me, Martha doesn't know herself what we call a martyr in Iraq. She doesn't know herself what is a martyr. I don't know what we call a martyr. You can sit down, my love. Nobody knows a martyr. Nobody will. And how can we prove it? If a mother's body is found on a street, when we see it, <coughs> we will not say, oh, mother, what happened to her? We will say, this what? Huh? Was. This was. This was a matter. Nobody had seen someone walking from a dying person by the door. 
But what is the matter? What is the fukia once it decides to leave? Nobody will see it because nobody has known what is the fukia. Not the fukia himself. Because what you see is a box. The box can be painted green, <laughs> yellow, dark, white, red. It is just a box. We don't know our dead. And yet the Congo say they are not dead. They are in a vacation. And yet they believe they will come back. Don't we say that in the West? Oh, my lovely mom, you are there waiting for me. And we look there. That again, a big issue. <laughs> <clears throat> These ancestors are special because when they were here, they did not leave the way everyone else lives. And that is what makes these people a special group. That is why they reach that level of being called the ancestors. And now we ask ourselves, how these people did grow up? in order to be classified in a special group. How did they grow up? How did they behave? How did they eat? What was important to them? <coughs> 